Mr. UPS guy, good to see you again. That's so crazy. That sounds exactly like the recording. I love this thing. This is cool. This is really cool. Should we go flights on? Or lights off? Okay, I think lights on. Huh. Yo. So I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is the Harmony Stella 12 string model, model H912. And it was the acoustic guitar that was used for all the parts on Nevermind with acoustic guitar. So Polly was recorded with this guitar and so was something in the way. And this one's set up the exact same way. It's got nylon strings on it, missing the six string, just like Kurt's would have been for the recording of Nevermind. I decided to be really cheesy and I recreated the famous photo of Kurt with his Stella. And just like Kurt's, I ended up having to tape the bridge off because otherwise the strings just float everywhere and buzz around it's absolutely horrible and i actually have another harmony stella here the parlor size one it's shorter and i had to do the same thing i had to tape it off these guitars are just absolute pieces of shit they're horrible they're awful guitars i mean like really bad this guitar has a lot of problems but the sound that they make is so special i really really love the way these sound they got their own thing going on for sure and you can only get that sound with these guitars it just sounds really fucked up and that's what i really like about it, it sounds kind of like there's like a drunk old soul trapped in here or something <laughs> and they don't stay in tune i was just playing this like 10 minutes ago it's already out of tune anyways this is my harmony stella 12 string it's really cool i like it i just got back from the store and you won't believe what just showed up these are my 12 t75s from paris my 1984 ones these were shipped on may 30th today it's Monday, July 25th. So these have been in transit for a long time. I've been trying forever to get them. Customs intercepted them like five times. So I don't even know if they're still gonna work at this point, but uh, yeah, they're here. Okay. All right. Cool. So now we got all the 12 T75s in the cab, the vintage 1984 ones, and I figured it would be a really good time to test these out now. I don't know if you remember from my last video where I had like 8 billion 12 T75s laid out. They're all vintage, by the way. And I said that no two sound the same. Well, I figured this would be a good time to test these and see how similar they sound to each other. So I'm just gonna mic up each speaker directly on the dust cap, the exact same for all four speakers. And I'll just play like a riff through the Mesa Boogie or whatever, and just cycle through each speaker. We can see how it sounds. Cause just from my experience, 
experience, no two 12T75 sound the same. Each one of them have such a specific tone. They're just kind of all over the place. And that's what I hate with recreating tone is if you don't have the right sounding speaker, it's, it's really impossible because that's where all the tone is coming from, the speaker. All right, enough talking. Let's test. What'd you guys think? I feel like that was the most Godfather intro of all time. Hold on, I have to do it again. So what did you guys think? Okay, so seriously though, see how much of a difference there is just between one speaker to the next? It's crazy. And I've had the same experience with all the speakers I've been collecting, with greenbacks, V30s even, just kind of all around the board. I don't know why manufacturers have so much trouble making a speaker sound consistent, but they just don't. I feel like speaker number two though has something special going on with it. Almost like an echo flanger filter matrixy kind of sound. It has this really weird resonance that I can definitely hear all over in utero. It's a good sounding one. But I would like to know which one was y'all's favorite. One, two, three, or four. Let me know in the comments which speaker you preferred the sound of. It's currently 1242 Sunday, which means when I wake up, me and wife are going to shoot a wedding and I'm gonna auto schedule this video to post to YouTube. Oh, and I almost forgot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and address it because I know you're all dying to know. You're saying to yourself, Aaron, where the hell is Aaron? What have you done with him? What the f did you do to your hair? Honestly, I just, I felt like it was time for a change. I did the long hair thing. It was cool, been there, done that, but I don't know, I'm just ready for the next chapter and whatever my life brings, which includes new hair, I guess. At first I was going for the nerdy Kurt kind of just nerd guy thing, but then I realized really quick, like that's not me at all. I look like a psychopath and uh, yeah, I just, Decided to chop it all off. All right guys, well now finally, since the speakers are here, I can get back to recreating tones. I'm gonna try to be cranking out at least a video a week. It takes me a long time to make my videos, especially it's been like a month since I've posted my last video. I know that's not cool, bad Aaron, but don't worry. I promise things are gonna pick up. I'm gonna be posting a lot more for all the new people here. It's nice to meet you. I hope you dig guitar videos and just random videos, I guess, cause that's all I do. So anyways guys, I will see you very soon. Later.